they're trying to do is to look impressive. So that when the females come in, the most impressive male gets to breed the greatest number of females and get his genes into the next generation. Sage grouse are a great indicator of healthy landscapes in the West because they do tend to be a picky species from a habitat perspective and they use such large areas. Sage grouse have been lost from about half of their range. Declines upwards of 99% uh, in places. And what we found is that the human footprint that gets put down to extract energy surpasses thresholds that grouse are willing to tolerate. The female adults stay but die and the yearlings leave. A lot of birds are threatened by oil and gas development. Sage grouse, sage thrasher, this habitat that's fairly specialized but um, widespread is being just chopped up by roads and oil and gas wells. And those species are threatened by our need for more energy. And I think we have to be a lot more careful about how we use resources. It's really specific in its habitat needs. It needs good sage, it needs big sage, it needs grasses, and it doesn't do well around development. It doesn't do well around any kind of disturbance. In Montana, we have some very healthy populations of sage grass. We still have some really healthy sagebrush uh, shrub sub habitats. It doesn't look like there's anything out there, but it's a wealth of biodiversity. So we know from a conservation triage perspective that we're never going to have enough time and money to save every species. And so if you had to pick a few in the West, sage grouse might be a good one because it has such diverse seasonal habitats, it catches a lot of the other species that we're concerned about in conservation. An umbrella species. So if we can protect our sage grouse habitat, then we can do right by a whole bunch of, of, of other species. So right now there's a big push for renewable energies in the West, like wind and solar. It's still going to be a question for sage grouse of where we site those facilities and where we put transmission to carry those electrons to the large human population. We want to be careful that when we site new energy that, that we're being careful to site them in places that can withstand some development. And some of the sage habitat is, may not be the best place. We need to work around our core areas where we have really healthy populations of sage grouse so that they'll persist. We have some great sage habitat remaining, and so right now we do face a choice. Whether we're going to develop those habitats or preserve them for future generations. 